Hello and welcome to Chester Cathedral. We're here with Pete Waterman and Making Tracks 3 to have a, a bit of a look behind the scenes before it opens tomorrow. So uh, Pete, tell us a bit more about the third iteration of Making Tracks. Well, the problem why we had, the criticism we have on the first two is all right, but there's no station. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, building Lemmings and Spa, which is all station, I really didn't feel we got enough out of the station. Hatton Bank is where we all wanted to stand and watch the trains go. Which is why I made making tracks one and two. Basically, just seen it run. Yes. But you know, Hornby challenged us to make the station. So, to me, there was only one station you could build on the west coast, modern, where it's really interesting. That's Milford Keynes. Yes. So, you know, we didn't sit down and think about the, all the problems. We thought about the positives. Yes. Because I think if we sat down and actually worked out what we've got to do, we wouldn't have bothered doing it. <laughs> we said, why don't we pick somewhere else? Yeah. Um, it's been a task. Yes. I mean, just because of the Coutinho. The Coutinho is very different from the because it's modern. So, yeah. where the other two we've built is BR, uh, is the original BR. This is BR1. Mm -hmm. This is the new. You know, so, you've got a combination of old, new, and very new. Yes. So, you know, so that's caused us lots more work than we've ever done before. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a bit more of a traditional layout, as you say, with having a station in the middle. It's what most people think of it, an exhibition layout today. But how does it differ in other ways to a more traditional exhibition layout? Well, you've got some bi direction. Right, so okay. you can stay, you can put Pendolino in one platform, and pass it at 125 miles an hour. Um, as you can see, that's what I want to do. You know, okay. when we get the young kids with the tablets, all they want to do is go as yes, fast really. as possible. <laughs> Yes. So that was the whole idea of it. And also I've never seen anybody do bi-directional running. No. I've never seen it. It's like, because everybody does, obviously, steam railways where there are very little bi-directional running. So this is what the modern railway is. Yes. Now the thing that even I didn't appreciate until about three weeks ago was just how much overgrown the railway is. So I, it was only four weeks ago we started to put these bushes more in the middle because when you go through Milton Keynes, some of the bushes, you can't even see the next yes. line. Yes, it's so, Yeah, so rather than try and make it look absolutely pristine, we decided to, you know, even go that extra stage and, and actually make it, you know, look as if it's real today. Yeah, so you mentioned about the, the iPads for the kids. What other technology have you got incorporated yes. with, the, with this? We've got some very good ideas this year. We've got, um, you can see it here, here. we've got rail cam, so we, oh, we, rail can, yeah. we can watch it live all day. And we've got just boards, which are not the top of the wall. So when you get your tablet, the young guy will, or the young person will be able to see where this train's going, what time it's due there, and when it goes through, you can watch it from up on the destination board. Yeah. Right? And then if he's clever, if he looks at that one over there, that's the real Milton Keynes. And you can see where his real train is on there. So if it's delayed, he can see it on there. So he's got to slow down. I think I, I personally think it's a great, really yeah. great, because it, you do it in virtual time, but this is in real time. You can actually see the real train on there. You can see your train, and you can see if you're delayed, so you can slow down a little bit. So it connects the layout with the real place. Yes, yeah. it does. Yeah. Fantastic. So it says, you know, there's the real trains. Uh, you've got your train and there's yours on this board. You look over there, that's a real train. You, you, you know, that's what's mm. going on. So, it, so you said about the rail cam here as well. Yes. So that means that anyone, if you, know, if you can't attend, if you go and get to Chester, anyone across the world can, can so, log in yeah. to rail cam and watch yeah. it. That's fantastic. And the, the pictures are fantastic. Yeah. Because we've, we've spent, with the rail cam guys, we've spent some time just looking, picturing the views at work. Yes. So we're, we're going to put a camera, we think, over the fiddle yard so we can see all the different trains. But the rest are just above what a normal person might would see. Yes, yeah, so it's so what, yeah. exactly what you'd see. Not you looking there. down on it, looking straight, straight down, down it. Yeah. Nice. So obviously this is this is what's here at Chester, but you've got bigger plans for, for this layout in a couple of months, haven't you? Yeah, so the ultimate to me, which came to us last year, was really, I want to put all three together. Yeah. Because hey, it's never been done that much. No, not that much. The challenge to us is enormous. It means we've now got to go back to one or two change all the signalling um, because we've become a new system and we're on 5 volts, not 12 volts now. 
it means we've got to update all the electronics on the original two layers. But, you know, I'm dying, I mean, to be honest, when we put this up yesterday, I've forgotten how long this is. Yeah. <laughs> so, when you put it up, you know you can't see the guy at the other end. So you haven't all have to wear different coloured vests, so you can notice each other on walkie-talkies. You're thinking, oh, this is going to be fantastic. Yeah. You know, they're going to set off a pendolino, it's going to be five minutes before you see it. <laughs> but this time, he's lost the concentration, and God knows what's going to happen. So where's that going to be appearing? That's going to guess. That's going to break electric train yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, you know, I think he's... I mean, the, the problems of transporting it, as you can imagine, are enormous. <laughs> Yeah, so I think we've got five vans up there. Wow. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a big undertaking. What we're going to do this year, we're going to do a summer season, a Christmas season. Christmas, oh right, yeah. So we're going into Blakemere, which is the centre of the Chester Road. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're in the whole of December and January. Why are we doing that is, because we can go in in November and we can work out how to put automation on. Oh, right, okay. So when, when we've got all three together, we can be confident we can run it easier than trying to get 10, 15 people to run it. Yeah, you can run it with less people and yes. have it open longer. But we yeah. need a month to try all these systems out. Yes. Because if you're open six days a week, which is what we are, or seven days a week, which we will be a you want to work every time. Yeah, it needs to be reliable. You don't need five people running around pushing it and, and it falling <laughs> off every time, you know what I mean? Exactly. So we want to really go for that. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. So, uh, when can people see this? Tomorrow. Or tomorrow? <laughs> uh, it opens tomorrow. That's the 26th, isn't it? Yeah, it opens tomorrow. And we're here till the 3rd of September. 3rd of September, brilliant. And it's, what time does it open during the day? Well, let's just say, it's, it's, open, it's open at half nine yeah. till five. And half nine till five, right, okay. Brilliant. Come and have some fun. You can drive it. He's going to drive it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Pete. It's been great seeing you again. As always. Pleasure. We'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.